In this lesson, you'll take a look at some of Dreamweaver's form building tools. Specifically, you'll learn how to add a form field and form elements such as text fields, checkboxes, and a submit button. So to get started, let's take a look at this page formbase.html and realize that I've done a few things here. The most important piece is I've created a form tag by using the form element in the insert panel. And then I copied all of the text on my page and put it into this form element. Now you can always select a form element by clicking anywhere within it and then going down to your tag selector and choosing the form element. Here we can see the properties for the form. And for example, I'd like to change the name of this form from the default form one, which is not very descriptive, to contact. Now the important thing to point out about forms is that there's only so much you can do in Dreamweaver. The most important piece to keep in mind is this field here, action. So action is what happens when a user clicks the submit button. In other words, what happens to that form data? And unfortunately, I can't help you out very much here. This is something that's specific to you and your server, as well as your hosting service. So you're going to have to go there and ask some questions in order to figure out what the action should be. However, putting this aside, Dreamweaver is extremely useful for creating the form itself. So let's take a look at how we can do that. And the first thing we'll do is add the standard text field next to the name section. So to do that, click next to the word name, and then go to your insert panel. If necessary, you need to click on this menu to choose the forms category, and then we can choose text field. Click on that once, and we get the input tag accessibility window. Now in general, you'll set attributes here to make your form field more accessible to users. Additionally, you can change some settings here that will make the receiving data a little bit more easy to understand. So for the ID section, for example, let's call this mailing list name. In the style section, let's choose this option, no label tag. So we'll come back to labels in just a moment, but for now, choose no label tag. With those two settings, let's choose OK, and we now have our text field in the name section. Now by clicking on that text field, you have the ability to change some of the properties. One thing I'd like to point out here is that Dreamweaver gives the mailing list name located down below the same name as the ID. So it's important to understand the different elements here. The ID is something that we can use to style this text field. The name of the text field is what Dreamweaver uses whenever it sends the information. So again, two important pieces to distinguish. However, you can also change the appearance of your form elements by using some of these other properties, such as character width. So here I'll type in 55 and then press return, and we can see our text field expand. There's other values as well, such as single line, multi-line, initial value. You can also apply a CSS class to your form elements as well. What I'm going to do, however, now is jump to the checkboxes section. So to do this, let's select all of this text here that's currently placeholder text labeled as checkbox. We'll then delete it, and then go into the insert panel, and we'll add a checkbox. Once you select that, you get that same window up here. And what we'll type in here is sales for the ID. And this time we're going to add a label. So press the tab key and then type in sales as well. So remember, we did not add a label to our text field. For good measure, let's also choose this option, attach label tag using the for attribute. I'll skip the explanation here, but this is just good practice and it improves the usability and accessibility of your page. Let's click OK, and then make sure that the checkbox element itself is selected and take a look at some of the properties. So again, notice that the checkbox name has been chosen here, but we also want to change the checked value. So the checked value is the information that will be sent back whenever the user presses submit. Now in this case, it's the same information as our name, so we're going to type sales. Now let's take a look at this in the live view, which is essentially our internal web browser. And we can now see how this works. Again, in the name field, I could type in my name. And the checkbox, I could click the checkbox here. 